as we progress in our healing, there are inevitable ups and downs. And uh, I say the word inevitable, inevitable ups and downs. Because there's this feeling I think we have sometimes where, well, I'm on the healing journey, I'm doing a lot of inner work, and I feel better. And then we go into a low period and maybe some of the dysfunctional behavior returns, right? And there's a great sense of disappointment about why can't I maintain this? So it's helpful to notice that these ups and downs are inevitable. What we tend to notice is it's kind of a, a spiral upward in healing and ascension, positive and negative periods as we go in these roundabouts, but it's going upwards and these, these sort of cycles of positivity and negativity tend to get shorter. So it is important to know like one of the hallmarks I feel <clears throat> for inner work is coming out of this sort of persona shadow, good, bad, right, wrong, unworthy, improve myself mindset. And when we're coming out of that, we're tapping into more of an intuitive inner voice, a more helpful guide uh, within our mind. And when we're in touch with that voice, oh my God, I mean, it's so liberating and we see all sorts of potentials for our life the future looks different and then the voice seems to go away and that can be like what's happening how did this happen what am i doing wrong there's actually a purpose for this it's the purpose is to kind of to to create a, a kind of a contrast where when we go through periods where we can't hear that inner voice, that right-minded inner voice, it makes us motivated to value it more when it's not there. So this video is about allowing yourself. Nobody wants to have low periods. And it's okay to not want that, but to be okay when that inevitability comes around. We kind of become more skillful at uh, navigating the difficult periods. What I have noticed is those down periods, those difficult periods, when you seem disconnected, they really actually do propel you to a next, a new level. So they are helpful in that regard. There's usually some sort of a block that remains that needs to be kind of looked at. But that's not a shortcoming. That's just what's next on the agenda in your progression. So a bad day, a bad week, a bad month. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But we zoom out a little and we look at, well, what was the last couple of years like? And, and how has my progress been there? Am I having periods of time with more clarity, maybe more than I used to? That's a useful metric to use when we're evaluating this. So if you're having a bad period, just remember, that's kind of n not a sign that the wheels have fallen off here. It means that what's naturally supposed to happen is just playing itself out. So please keep that in mind. Don't let that um, deflate you. Probably, if anything, it's just a sign to take some reflection, take some rest if possible. And... Uh, in that silent reflection, in that rest period, new insights will come that will move you to a higher place. So they're inevitable guys, but um, try to welcome them and the, the less resistance you meet them with, the better, because it's easier to get through them. Short video, but I hope that's a useful reminder. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.